Just a quick shout out to BOTB, the weekly car competition for sponsoring today's video. And if you didn't know, BOTB give away a car literally every single week to a guaranteed winner. If you head over to BOTB.com, they have more than 150 cars to play for. Tickets start under just 85p, which you can enter from worldwide as long as you're 16 or over. And I thought seeing as though I'm filming such a crazy RS6, why not be in for a chance of winning the brand new Audi RS6 worth a ridiculous £93,000. Guys, you're talking less than five quid. If you guess the correct coordinates on their spot the ball game, this car could be all yours. I mean, just look at it. Each weekly competition closes at midnight on Sunday with the winner being surprised in person on a Tuesday. So head over to botb.com and be in for a chance of becoming their next dream car winner. And if you're feeling lucky, you could even win £20,000 cash in the boot of the RS6. Thank you, and I'll now put you back into the video. The man. How are you doing, Paul? How are you doing, Mickey? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, wicked, man. Thank you for coming down. Welcome to Living Life Fast. Thank you. Uh, so, what has it been? About, is it two years? Year and a half? About a year and a half, yeah. year and a half. So I put up a post, didn't I, on yeah. Instagram. I think Actually, I messaged you saying, please let me film the car. And straight, yeah. You collected the car. About five hours ago. Five hours ago. Yeah. From MRC, Banbury. Yeah, you yeah. come down from Scotland. Yep. You've literally just experienced it for the first time now. Yeah. Obviously everyone's in the head title. What yeah. is it? Power figure? Uh, latest figures, 1,078 PS. Wow. So 1,060 horsepower, something like that. That is insane. And uh, torque? 1,300 newton meters. 1,300 newton meters. Give or take, 1,000 pounds for it. Let's start from the beginning. So uh, it's an RS6, the C6, yeah? Yep. Uh, what is it, the V10 twin turbo? V10 twin turbo. Engine was obviously manufactured purely for that car. People kind of say that this engine's from like the Glado, did they say? Or? It's got Lamborghini stamps mm. um, on certain parts of the engine, but right. um, it wasn't developed for that. It's a completely different engine from the, the 5.2, but it does share, you know, a couple of things. Pretty heavy cars as well, weren't they? Just over two ton. 560 horsepower? 580 from the factory, 580. yeah. Torque wise, yeah. I think 750 newton meters. Yeah. Paul, what are the modifications on the car? Start from the front end, I think that's probably the easiest way. Mm. So we have custom uh, Marston intercoolers that were manufactured by Radtech. Mm -hmm. um, we did have an earlier version, but they kind of weren't given the results that they should have. So custom intercoolers, um, we have a uh, Again, uh, upgraded post injectors. Uh, Acumist HFS3 uh, water meth kit. We have um, upgraded air filters, so the kind of stock air box has been modified yeah. just to allow more airflow. We've obviously mm -hmm. got bigger filters in there. Right. Um, we also have a set of TTE 1000 plus turbos. So okay. we were the first car in the world to ever run the turbos. So Kind of more of a development car. Sorry, the, the first uh, RS6 or just car in general? First car in general. Okay. The turbos were made for the RS6, oh, wow. so we were okay. the development car. Brilliant. Obviously, we're running carbon ceramics all round. Mm -hmm. um, suspension wise, KW V3, uh, HR anti roll bars. Nice. Um, Sport Mile upgraded built gearbox. And we have um, a company called Hard Knock Speed Shop. Uh, they manufactured a set of, kind of true three and a half inch downpipes. Mm -hmm. Mated all the way to a three and a half inch uh, straight through exhaust. Right. Um, and that's really about it. Obviously, we've got the carbon fibre bucket seats, but they were more about kind of support because the stock seats, when you're driving under load, they're not the best. Mm. Um, so, yeah, man, that's about it. Stock engine. Stock engine, yes, I was about stock, to ask you, yeah. stock engine. So stock how, engine. How, how is this then? Like, how is this even possible? Well, when we looked at producing those power numbers, we, we broke it down into the fact it's a V10. 
Um, various other V things, you know, underground racing. Um, we're running a thousand horsepower, half in performance. Mm -hmm. On the V10, we kind of no real issues. Yeah. So uh, we thought we'll go for it. It's about 110 horsepower per cylinder. Right, um, 10 cylinders. It isn't that stressful if mm. you think about it. Mm. So we went for it. We had to limit the torque because the first time we made the uh, 1400 newton meters plus, wow. we kind of felt that the way the torque was coming in nice and early, it was just too much. So uh, Duncan, Mini at MRC decided just to dial that back just a little bit. Mm. Um, the end result's fantastic. That is so impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So, so obviously it's going to have had a custom tune, right, to yes. kind of save the world so, stuff. Yeah, I, I, MRC I think spent somewhere in the reason of 68 weeks developing the, the tune for the new turbos, mm. road testing, dyno time, um, custom gearbox map. Car also runs, it runs three maps. We don't actually have a a race fuel map as such, but the race fuel didn't produce any better numbers, it just made the car run just that little bit safer. Okay. So it has a 110 map, a mm. 99 map, right. uh, and what we call a, it's like a valet mode, so the car runs dead. Can't get um, stolen. Can't get stolen, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, man. The okay. numbers, numbers quoted are on 99. So exterior wise, you've kind of left it stopped, like you're saying, it's like the ultimate sleeper, right? I think so. Thing is, is not a lot of people know about the saloon, mm -hmm. so obviously I do no longer make one. They never made the C5, it was only this particular generation that got the saloon, so people see it and just think it's um, one of those cars with the RS6 badges. So, uh, <laughs> Double the horsepower. Have you done any 100s to 200s or obviously you've only just no, picked up? I've, I've literally just picked the car up. There mm. is a, an Avant in France who has a kind of similar spec to me, same turbos, a few other different, he's a little bit heavier. Mm. Um, he was doing a 4.7. 4.7, wow, 4.7, 2, two, two yeah, yeah. I, I'm quietly confident, we'll go a little bit quicker, I've got more mm. power, more torque, obviously I've took the seats out, but yeah. I'm, I'm a lighter car to start with, I think we'll do, I'd like to think low 4, for run about 4.2, I think 4 it's in the car, I think wow. so, 4.2, 4.3, we'll and find out, so. What, what tyres are you running? Uh, right now it is Continental Sport Contact 6s, okay. um, they're okay. Um, Probably will change them, and this one's next. What have you discovered in your short amount of time? Any wheel spinning or? Up to fourth gear. Up to fourth. <laughs> Four wheel drive as well. Up to fourth, yeah, which is, which is a little bit unnerving. All right, Paul, let's uh, wrap this up. We'll jump out in the car because this memory card's literally full up and the lights are just cut out. <laughs> we'll jump out, yeah? <laughs> yeah, sweet man. man, let's go. Yeah, I cut the camera because the battery was down on the main cam. So uh, you was talking about V Max. Yeah. So you've, um, are you gonna take the V Max? Gonna go in March. March. The, yeah. Uh, good friend of mine, Pete, has the the C6 record. I think he done 213 mile an hour. I'm running about 225 horsepower more than what he was running at that time. One question I got for you, Paul, is why has nobody kind of done this with the new RS6? Why did you not do it with the new RS6? Up until recently, there was a cooling option that allows you to run high horsepower, so the charge cooler mm -hmm. couldn't keep things cool enough, but I believe MRC have developed their own intercooler. I was there today, so um, I think right. they're just about to release some figures. They have a C7, uh, just over 1,000 PS. Oh, so yeah. there is an RS6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New shape running the Bowser. Yeah, they've just okay. done it. So yeah, guys, really spacious in this cabin. <laughs> it's spinning up, boy. Now, boy, that's a relentless pull, isn't it? That there that we just done in yeah. that little feature. Mm. That was uh, your 100 to 200 test that people do. That was that done like that. Look at that, we're just chilling and <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> yeah. It's the thing that I was saying earlier on. Yeah. Mate, you could be on the, genuinely be on the autobahn doing yeah. 200 mm. and uh, it feels as if you're doing 80, yeah. 80 mile an hour. And that is the selling point of the Audi, isn't yeah. it, really? So. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
So and like, you know what? You can feel that power building yeah. so progressively over the RPM. Like most cars you see on the channel, yeah. uh, they're having to run like ethanol or race fuel. I know. Um, but this is just V-Power, 99 or Tesco Momentum. Tesco Momentum. When we spoke before, the car was already running a thousand horsepower. Yeah. But we were running a thousand horsepower on race fuel, mm. which for, for me kind of defeated the purpose. Um, so we went back to the drawing board, spoke to uh, Simon from TTE, said, look, fantastic base here, the car's quick, we want to make it quicker, what have you got for us? They went away, came back, um, upgraded the turbine wheel, yeah. machined the house in a little bit, changed the intakes, and, and this is the Let's go left up here. That traction control is really kicking in. We'll turn it off. Door, no, and it starts to grip, <laughs> the, the top end of third, I mean that was, I'm not saying what speed it was, but I think as you said, you know, you know you're going fast, but you don't realise how fast you're going until you have that little look. It's not a deceiving fast, it feels like we're travelling fast. Yeah. fast but it's not until you get to a certain point where you it really really takes on that's why I think your VMAX will do so well yeah what did you did you say what you think you, you can hit or what you like to hit I think we'll do 230 230 I think so wow. I think we'll do 230 or possibly slightly more wow um, kind of high power GTRs are doing kind of 230 235 if the conditions are right I think we'll match it guys I actually do feel a little bit nauseous the last time I went out of one of these I did get that slight bit of nausea. Like, what is it that uh, MRC recommend for you, like maintenance wise, looking after it? So, uh, so to, it's kind of more me, I'm a little bit OCD. To be honest with you, it can be serviced as normal. Yeah. Every 10,000 miles. Mm. Uh, um, probably do every five, but again, I've had the car for uh, three years and it's only done 6,000 miles. It's like every other car, it could go boom at any time. Even if it's built, they can't, can't they? Of course they can. Mm. But the, when I put the when I put the rod right through the block in the GTR, right? Um, so it, it can happen. Can you mention what you spent? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty penny. Not. I think you could go and do it. I think if you got to follow my path now, mm. you could get to a thousand horsepower for about twenty-five grand. Yeah. Maybe. I don't think it'd be far away. It's not too bad, is it? Not too bad. No gearbox. At the time when I done it, it was really expensive, but I think you can get it done now for about four and a half k. Right. So, so you've spent more than twenty five, obviously. Oh yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Bear in mind, obviously, I've had the car for three years. I mean, there's no denying it feels ridiculous for the passenger. <laughs> when you jump in a GTR, you get a different feel, like more mechanical. Definitely, not as way more mechanical. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, more raw, and that is what gives you illusions of speed. Do you know what I mean? So what setup do you want? Do you want sport mode, traction semi on, on just now? Would you fancy? Ooh, got choices, people. I ain't the best passenger. Don't worry, man. I'll, um, I'll, no, I'll be, cool. I'll be respectful, man. Nah, go fast. Yeah, the wheel feels a little bit heavier. Obviously, the car's sitting lower, so it's almost dragging a bit more. From the driver's uh, seat, the car feels a lot smaller, doesn't it? Yeah. It surrounds me nicely. In the passenger seat, it feels a bit more spacious. Different all angle towards you as a yeah. driver. So. It feels really planted, doesn't it? Don't feel overly assisted. It's nicely weighted, boy. Nicely weighted. On a B road, it's awful. Right, but uh, it's so wide, but you don't realise how wide that is until another car's pulling up next to you. Yeah, yeah. And um, is the uh, KW adaptive that you've got in here, or is it fixed? So it's all fi it's fixed. It links up to the. Uh, obviously, you've got the dynamic suspension plus in this car. Okay, yeah. So you've got comfort, dynamic, or sport, so it all interlinks with that. It's lovely sitting in a bucket, you know that. Yeah, it's fixed, you know what I mean? No bullshit. Ah, look at the torque. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is definitely uh, pretty stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we're in sport, so if you're going to comfort, it's, it's nice. 
it feels solid, man. It doesn't feel like floaty like the Audis. I always uh, kind of point the fact out that they're um, they almost like float across the tire, man. This feels stuck down, man. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't even touch the throttle. <laughs> it's just down gears. I suppose it's gonna have had some sort of gearbox software as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, stage three gearbox. <laughs> Yeah, them turbos are awake, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's like, you don't really have to work for it. Like, you kind of just tap it a bit and it's just, yeah, it launches, man. But, um, you know, it's weird. When I first, when I drove the estate, I just remember the mindset back then. Obviously, I hadn't been in many cars, yeah. but I just felt like a kid driving it. But right about now, the dimensions feel nice. I suppose it's this bucket, isn't it? Yeah. You're like wrapping around me here. What are the best value for money upgrades at the car? Seven had. kilos, you say? Seven kilos, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, man. Yeah, this is no joke, is it? You've got ceramics <laughs> as well, boy. I flung my head back, girl. <laughs> if we go yeah. full comfort, the car's. Yeah, it all goes. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laid back. Obviously, we're in. But that is ready, boy, look. Yeah, man. Look at that. Wow. Like, this is a car like now nah, we need to do more we want more <laughs> do you know what i mean but you have yeah. to look and you're like what yeah, yeah. i actually feel a little bit sick <laughs> told you honestly i was telling you yesterday there's going to be cars quicker zero to 60. yeah it's a two-ton car it doesn't yeah. have launch control it's got a slush box mm. you want if i dig at me from 60 onwards mm. i genuinely don't think that many cars beat me nah this steering wheel right now is so weighty like yeah. it doesn't feel how these cars are like usually it's definitely the think the roll bars help as well yeah, yeah. It gives, feels like there's no assist. It yeah. feels like I've got a real natural steering feel right G now. Gives you a load of confidence. Right, so guys, I'm going to end the video there. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Paul, man, thank you so much for coming down, especially for letting me drive the car as well. Yep. Uh, really appreciate it. I mean, what do I say? Like, 1,300 Newton meters of torque, 1,000 bhp. There's no denying that this <laughs> is ridiculous. Do a VMAX and then maybe put the car away. I'm definitely going to be at VMAX. You going to come? Yeah, 100%. And, and you want to come in there? Yeah, yeah, I'll come with you, yeah. Let's do it, man. Yeah, I'll come and film whatever, yeah. It'll be, a, be a world record attempt, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I'm sure the channel would love to see that. Yeah, anyway, start. people can find you on social media. Yeah, man, this car. Yeah, I've got a Paul underscore RS6 Lynn. Yeah. Um, B5's on there. I think the C7 is. Yeah. And this is definitely on it. A lot of people are quite interested in the car. Yeah, so, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, I'll leave all the Paul's links in the description. And, uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.